Good morning. I'm Brandon Steckler, technical editor of Motor Age Magazine. And I'm here with you today to have a little bit of discussion about troubleshooting drivability problems efficiently. Any diagnostic technician will tell you, being able to fix a car is one thing, but if it takes you two weeks to complete that job, it's not very efficient. You're probably not gonna have that job very long. So the name of the game is accuracy, and we cannot sacrifice accuracy. But it's very important for us as diagnosticians to be efficient as well if we want to be profitable. So regarding a misfire, as I mentioned in a previous video, troubleshooting the intermittent misfire is one of the most difficult challenges any drivability technician can face. The problem is trying to replicate the misfire and then at the same time capture data that can help indicate the root cause of that misfire and lead you down a path towards efficient diagnostic approach, diagnostic troubleshooting. Today I want to reference the Autel MS919 regarding its Ford power balance test. This test is taken straight from the factory level scan tool and is going to allow us as drivability technicians to gain insight about which cylinder is misfiring, even if that misfire happens to be intermittent. This edition of the trainer is brought to you by Auto. To see the full line of professional diagnostic tools and equipment from Auto, visit www.autel.com. So the idea behind efficient diagnostics is to eliminate the impossible and then focus on what's left. What that means to me as a drivability technician with my experience in the field as a diagnostician is to discover what is good on the vehicle. Meaning, if I have a list of 30 potential faults that could lead to the symptom I'm experiencing, I don't want to try and find the problem right away. What I strategize to do is to eliminate those items that simply cannot be the problem, simply due to the nature of the fault and when those faults present themselves. That will limit that list of 30 down to maybe 20 or 15. I want to do another test that reduces that list size even more till I narrow down the list to just several possible faults. And then I focus my testing on those few underneath the hood. So as discussed in a previous video, when I mentioned discovering the cause of an intermittent misfire or which cylinder is intermittently misfiring, it's very difficult to find at times. If we back up, and we really think about what a misfire is. Again, as mentioned in a previous video, it's the slowing of the crankshaft. The PCM monitors the signal from the crankshaft position sensor. And it's these reluctor wheel teeth you see right here that report to the PCM as it creates a change in sensor signal. Logic high and logic low. The PCM sees that change in logic and it counts those pulses. As those pulses are counted, the PCM takes into account the frequency of those pulses when they occur. As a vehicle's engine experiences a cylinder misfire, the crankshaft begins to slow and the CKP signal frequency begins to decrease because the crankshaft has slowed down. Because the PCM is aware of the engine's firing order and can locate cylinder position regarding which cylinder is on top dead center compression, it can couple that information with the frequency change of the crankshaft position sensor signal and pinpoint a cylinder specific misfire. Using the Autel MS919, leveraging the power of the Ford power balance test we are going to be able to locate that cylinder, even if it is misfiring intermittently. Navigating the scan tool, I'm going to choose Diagnostics. We're going to select Ford. I'm going to allow the Alltail MS919 identify the vehicle through mode 9 of OBD2. I 
I'm then going to select Hot Functions. Hot Functions is an option on the scan tool screen where the scan tool is configured to incorporate many popular tests, the most selected tests by techs across the country. Within that, I will find Cylinder, and that will lead me to my power balance test. At this point, the scan tool is asking me to start the vehicle and then initiate the test. I will start the test. And as you can see, the data is plotted on the screen. I'm going to initiate an intermittent misfire by disconnecting fuel injector for cylinder number six. And we are going to watch how the display responds. Disconnected. Plugged back in. Disconnected. Plugged back in. What we have here in front of us is just a screen capture, a still picture, if you will, of what I gathered in the work bay when creating a misfire on that Ford Freestar. Again, what I want to point out is some of the indicators that this, this graph provides for us. First of all, we can see it identified the vehicle by VIN. So this is an enhanced scan tool function on the factory side of the PCM that mimics that of the Ford factory scan tool of this error. This graph, first and foremost, there is a bar graph to indicate current engine RPM. And as you can see here, it's colored red. Red means that this chart is not accurate. Um, under certain RPM levels, when it's real slow, there's, there's some variations between cylinder um, contributions, and, and that could give a false indication of a misfire. So what we do is whenever this is red, we ignore it. If, if we get into an RPM range where this is valid, it changes color, and it, it changes to blue in this case. What we have here is a chart, vertical, beginning in the middle with zero, and integers counting positively above zero and negatively below zero, and this represents change in crankshaft speed. So no change in crankshaft speed would yield us a relatively flat line. Of course, there's always going to be some variation in crankshaft speed, as we can see by what you have drawn out here in gray. If there's an increase in crankshaft speed, the lines are going to be positive or elevated above zero. And if there's a decrease in crankshaft speed, the lines are going to indicate below the red line, below zero. What I love about this function is the history it provides. What is happening currently in this engine cycle, you can see occurring in blue. And we currently have a misfire. This is where I had the fuel injector unplugged. Every time a cycle completes, the current cycle indicated in blue will change to gray, almost like a like pencil lead. So we have a history. You know, we had an intermittent misfire on cylinder number one. And here, when I unplug the fuel injector for cylinder number six, the scan tool indicates not one, not two, but many misfires. So as you can see again here in blue, it's indicating there's a current misfire. When I plug the fuel injector back in and the misfire disappears, what you see here in blue will remain in gray and the blue trace will once again hover around the red line. So this test offers some really good insight into which cylinder is misfiring and whether it's misfiring currently or historically. So it's typical to hear me say, I prefer to reference OBD2 global data because it's an apples to apples comparison from vehicle to vehicle. And it makes my job simple because I can become familiar with that. However, in a case like this, leveraging the power of factory enhanced level data, like that derived from the Autel MS919. In this situation, the Ford power balance test allowed me to capitalize on the scan tool loop speed and the PCM's baud rate to help determine which cylinder is misfiring, even though that cylinder is misfiring intermittently. Right from the work bay, right from the driver's seat. The end result is we have a direct approach to a suspect cylinder without having to spend extensive time road testing, disassembling, or any hands-on testing preliminarily and that's money in the bank. Thanks again for joining me in this episode of The Trainer. I'm Brandon Steckler, Technical Editor of Motor Age Magazine. We'll see you next time.
To see the full line of Autel's diagnostic equipment and platforms, be sure to visit www.autel.com.